What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global back here with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about some more news going on with Bill Belichick just a day before game day, which is that ironic? No, I don't think so. So on your way in, make sure you guys do leave a big thumbs up because it massively helps support the channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. And once you guys do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification because hitting that bell notification will notify you guys each and every single time I post a video. And you guys, you guys aren't going to want to wait out on any video I post involving the New England Patriots. So in this one, we're going to be talking about how this team is finally activating wide receiver Tyquan Thornton for this upcoming week six game on the road against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, as we all know, Tyquan Thornton had a fairly promising rookie season, had some ups, had some downs, but looked really good in his rookie preseason. Looked like he was going to be a big part to what the Patriots were trying to build upon in Mac Jones' second year as a quarterback. Now, unfortunately, gets injured in the preseason, misses the first few weeks, and then the rest of the season, he's basically trying to play catch up. Fortunately, that exact same thing happened this offseason too. Gets injured in training camp, misses some time, finally comes back, and then deals with a shoulder injury against joint practice with the Packers, that week two uh, preseason game for them. We haven't seen him since. Hasn't been in practice, didn't play in any game so far this season. He made the initial 53-man roster but he had to start the season on IR, which guaranteed that he was going to miss at least four weeks, meaning that he was able to return last week against the New Orleans Saints, but the Patriots chose not to activate him. Now, he returned to practice last week. That's why we all thought Tyquan Thornton, he's going to be back against the Saints, and Mac Jones is going to finally get some help that he needs. But no, that is, that is not what happens. Once a player does return to practice, they have a 21-day window into finally being activated or they're going to be shut down for the rest of the season. So he is a couple weeks into his 21-day activation window. The Patriots just decided not to activate him till today. Why is that? Maybe he wasn't ready. Maybe they just chose not to activate him yet because they didn't think that he was a big enough piece. But... Unfortunately, there is a reason why the Patriots have to be activating Tyquan Thornton right now, and that's because, quite literally, they have zero bodies. They have zero bodies at wide receiver. This offense is struggling, and so I think, for me, that question mark comes up with, all right, are we activating Tyquan Thornton because there is a true role for him in this new uh, revamped offense and what they're completely scratching new with this offense? Is Tyquan Thornton a part of what that game plan is for the week, or... Are we truly just activating Thornton because we need somebody on the field? As we know, Juju Smith-Schuster is out of this game with a head injury. Pop Douglas, their fastest and most explosive player, is also going to be out of this game with a head injury. Pages are very much banged up at the wide receiver position. And quite literally, again, you need players at the very least to just be on the field to dictate, dictate coverage. And that is one thing that you can say about Tyquan Thornton. One of the fastest players the Patriots have ever had in this system, let alone drafted. Tyquan Thornton was drafted by the Patriots in 2022, being a second round pick, 50th pick overall. They traded up in order to get him. And when you're a top 100 pick early on in the second round, you're going to have some high expectations. Now, Thornton is still very young, only 23 years old. And last year in a year where he didn't even play every single game because he was dealing with injury. He was still able to put up 22 total catches for 247 yards, two touchdowns, and was also able to carry the ball for a total of three times for 16 yards and also a touchdown. That is one thing I will say I hope the Patriots get going with him. We haven't seen trick plays. We haven't seen jet sweeps. We need to see some of these old school plays for the Patriots coming back. I don't care if Bill O'Brien is your offensive coordinator. He needs to get some of these old school plays involved that the Patriots have ran for the last two decades. And I think part of that starts with a fast, you know, 4-2-8 Tyquan Thornton running some jet sweeps in order to have some misdirection, get into the open space, and actually have uh, some chunk plays for this offense.
And guys, before we continue on today's video, I got to give a massive shout out to the sponsors, not just of the video, but literally all season long. That's my friends over at Bet US, baby. Now, first off, my favorite thing about US that I got to tell you guys about is the fact that it's available in every single state. It seems like with a lot of sports books these days, it's, oh, is it available in my state? Is it is it not available in my state? Oh my God, if I'm traveling, can I still put my picks down for the week? Best thing about Bet US, baby, is that no matter where you are at, as long as you are 21 and using it responsibly, you can use BetUS no matter where you are. Guys, first and foremost, make sure you check out BetUS, right? Everything I'm going to tell you about is 100% legitimate and why I use BetUS as my own personal leading betting uh, uh, platform. And now not only do I use it, but BetUS is the leading online betting platform for everybody in the world. And you might be asking yourself, why is that? Well, it's because they offer a wide range of sports betting. It's not just football, but you can bet on college football, the NFL, baseball, basketball, soccer, and so much more. And if you say, well, Patriots Global, I'm really not into sports betting. Well, that's okay, my friend, because they got casino games for you too, baby. Blackjack, poker, you name it, they got it. Super easy to sign up, super fast. Just put your name, put your email, put your phone number down. In a minute or two, you guys are going to be making some easy money. And right now, you guys can get a 125% sign-up bonus when you use the link in the description below. 125% sign-up bonus is going to do more than double your initial deposit, meaning that let's say you put down $100, that $100 becomes $225 to play with. You can't beat that. And they got great bonuses every single week, whether that's loyalty bonuses, welcome bonuses, you name it, they got it. But make sure you guys go ahead and check out BetUS, sign up for them, see what all the hype is about, and make sure you guys support the sponsors that support the channel, because without them, quite literally, we would not be here today. But what is this offense going to look like now that Tyquan Thornton is back? Well, something that I'm really excited to see is how he opens up this Patriots offense. As we know, the Patriots have taken shots deep. One thing you can't say about the Patriots offense is that they do not at least attempt to have deep shots down the field. They attempted. They just ultimately don't get anything from it. Really outside of Tyquan Thornton, though, the Patriots do not have a field stretcher. They don't have a guy that really has to dictate that coverage down the field. Now, Pop Douglas is fast, but the Patriots aren't really utilizing him as a deep threat. And the biggest thing that this reminds me of is in 2021, Max rookie year, you had Nelson Aguilar dealing with some injuries. And defenses played the Patriots very different when Nelson Aguilar was on the field versus when Nelson Aguilar wasn't. Now, when he wasn't on the field, teams were just stacking the box the entire time, taking away that short to intermediate round. Out for the Patriots, which is where they like to operate then, and that's where they like to operate now. Versus when Nelson Aguilar was actually on the field, they still had to put guys deep, which means that they weren't able to just crowd the box, which means the Patriots were able to operate in all three phases, short, intermediate, and even deep from time to time, because defenses were not just using every single defensive personnel they had to crowd the box. One thing that I will say too about Tyquan Thorne is the fact that he is better than Nelson Aguilar. Yeah, he is going to kill you with that 428 speed down the field, but I think he's really good in contested catch situations. At least we saw that ability in college. He has the ability to get open. We saw that even last year. The biggest problem was that he had a lot of rookie moments last year. And we'll see if he was able to take those physical and especially mental reps, but he has to be on the same page as Mac Jones. None of this matters. It doesn't matter how much he gets open. It doesn't matter how talented he is. If him and Mac Jones cannot be on the same page, they're not going to connect on passes. And that, at the end of the day, is what the Patriots need. At the end of the day, though, Mac Jones is getting a receiver back that is going to help him in all three phases, especially deep, and he's going to help open up this offense at the end of the day. Mac Jones is going to get somebody back that he at least has some type of a rapport with. And you look at it. You look at Kayshawn Booty. You look at Demario Douglas, you look at Juju, you look at all of these new receivers, even Mike Gesicki are guys that Mac Jones is still trying to get on the same page with. They're still trying to figure things out. There's not a whole lot of guys that Mac Jones can truly go to that he's had in 2021 or even last year in 2022. It's a lot of new pieces, so you got to hope that Tyquan Thorne coming back will give Mac Jones a cover blanket and a guy that he can rely on. What are your guys' thoughts on Tyquan Thornton finally being activated to the 53-man roster? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Guys, I will see you tomorrow for game day. Let's go, baby. Go Pats.